Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to present a topic, Mental Health of Vietnamese International Students in New York City before and after the 2020 U.S. presidential election. My name is Ngoc Cindy Pham, and I'm a Brooklyn College professor. I'm still in New York City, and it's kind of cold now, so how's the weather in your area? First of all, in this presentation, I will talk a bit about literature background, the environmental factors, the research gaps, the study design and methodology, survey procedure, findings prior and post elections. It means in these studies, I, in this study, I conducted interview before and after the elections and compare and compile the findings. Then I will talk about discussion, the managerial implications, and at the end, I would like to receive questions or comments from the audience. Shall we start? Literature background. Mental health is a critical topic in the past 10 years. There have been several milestone studies regarding the mental health. Students' mental health have been received significant attention of healthcare researchers and practitioners, especially regarding to the election, the presidential election in America. There have been several studies um, to understand the impact of the election or the critical history, um, historic uh, events with the mental health of people. International student group facing most risk of mental crisis during COVID-19, according to FAM et al. 2020. The, the study identified several causes that lead to the mental crisis of international students in America or in New York City, such as the living condition, they are isolated uh, in the ho at home uh, in, a, in a new country in a foreign country, away from friends and family, um, during the shutdown of the city. That's an example of the cause. Environmental factors. All of us know that the years of 2020, uh, they have been various crucial events in New York City and of course across the world. The COVID-19 widespread, actually in New York City now, we are facing a second surge of COVID-19. And um, today, the mayor of the city uh, decided to close all of the school again. The lockdown of New York City for months, uh, school closed down, as I mentioned, actually Brooklyn College has been shut down since March. 20th, 2020, and we're planning to close um, the next semester, the spring 2020, sem 21 semester as well. Unemployment rate, so high in the city. You can see homeless everywhere uh, on the street now. Uh, the unrest protests, people move out of the city because no job. So it's hard. It's, it's painful to see friends and family uh, and neighbors are moving out and the, the, the block can be empty. Racism toward Asians due to the term Chinese virus, the strict unstable and uncertain immigration laws and student visa laws. For example, just last month, um, there was a proposal on the uh, H-1B visa for those who graduate from a school in America, from a, a school in America, um, to apply to continue working uh, in this country. That um, the government only choose the best, the highest pay employees to grant such visa, which can lead to the green card application in the future. Unstable political situation, which I want to explain uh, furthermore in the next couple of minutes. Here are the research gaps, why we decided to conduct this study. First of all, we need a paper address the compounded effect of 2020 environmental factors on Vietnamese international students' mental health. Secondly, 
we need a paper that extends the mental study related to international college students. And third, we need a paper or a study that adds to healthcare marketing research. So therefore we have this paper. The study design methodology of this paper. First of all, I recruited 32 Vietnamese international students from New York City public universities. The demographics of this group uh, include 13 males and 19 females with the age range uh, from 19 years old to 32 years old. With, that means um, 19 years old is the youngest and 32 years old is the uh, most mature of the group. Recruiting sources uh, via Facebook page and word of mouth. The time period, um, the study started October 1st, 2020 and ended um, November 19, 2020. Uh, in order to interview the students, um, I conducted in-depth in -depth interviews via Zoom because we can't see each other in uh, person due to COVID-19 danger. Each of the interview lasts from 30 to 60 minutes no monetary stipend provider is being the owner of the participants um, volunteer to join this project. Interviews recorded with interviewees consents. After the um, interview completed, two researchers transcribe the recordings into written format. Um, during the interviews, the researcher asks open-ended questions related to mental health issues in 2020. Um, for example, um, how do you feel? Uh, what are the challenges uh, have you been uh, facing um, since March, 2000, March 2020 or since uh, November or 3rd? Uh, those questions have been provided during the interview. The findings uh, of the periods prior to the election, the students show the stress regard, regarding the unrest protests because they feel it's an unsafe living environment for them in New York City. The uncertain results of the 2020 US presidential election, which leads to the uncertain laws, um, which leads to the uncertain future of them as a student and um, worker in the future in this country. They have to debate between the option, stay home or stay, stay here, stay in this country or go home. And um, each of the option brings pros and cons. Uh, also, they have to ask themselves, can I come back here if I decided to go to Vietnam for the um, um, COVID-19 period? School closed for COVID-19. Um, so the students are isolated at home for a long time. Imagine that a young person um, could, cannot do any activities physically, mentally, emotionally, or, you know, see friends in school. It must be very stressful. Racism toward Asians, yes. Hope for more favorable laws toward international students after the election. So all of the international students I interviewed before the election show the hope uh, for the better or more uh, friendly um, law toward international students, um, even though they can't participate in the voting process. The findings of the period after the election, surprisingly, many people uh, hope you know, or believe that after the election, um, there will be there would be no protests, but the on the post election protests in New York City still very strong. Uncertain 2020 U.S. presidential election. Um, we actually don't know who is the winner of the election at this point in time. Therefore, we still the students still facing uncertain laws and uncertain futures as international students in America, particularly New York City. 
the debate between stay home, stay here or go home, still on the table with the pros and the cons have been uh, debating. School still closed. Again, Brooklyn College or CUNY in general, City University of New York system, we still close until um, next semester, the next whole semester. Uh, intense uh, language and messages from media that support the different party and different candidate, presidential candidate that create the tense and the distress uh, among the students because there are too much hatred in the surrounding area. The discussion from this paper, um, it has been a very difficult year for Vietnamese international students in New York City. Um, on the other hand, on one hand, these students are still facing the ongoing challenges for international students, including new culture, uh, language barriers, and being away from home, for example. Uh, on the other hand, they have to face uh, new challenges brought by the year 2020, um, including inconsistent laws for international students. Every week we see a new proposal regarding the law chain. Unstable living condition, because we still live in, we, uh, there are still many ongoing protests in the city, so it's unsafe for these students. Racism toward Asians um, still severe. Um, isolation during COVID-19 and limited healthcare access. The dilemma of the school are facing, one hand they want to help the student with mental health support ur urgently. Why the campus is still closed, it's impossible for the staff or the, for the school administration to see the students um, to, to know that who need help. Um, the student, if they get COVID-19, uh, it's difficult to get, uh, the, get treated for minor cases. Potential viral infections from visiting the hospital and clinic, it means that even though they need some mental health support, uh, they reluctant to visit the clinic or hospitals because uh, at this point in time, uh, COVID-19 cases and patients um, are um, everywhere in the hospital in New York City. Um, public places like parks and food courts, shopping malls or trends are facing the risk of contamination from the virus. It means that even those the students want to get out of the house, get their mind out of you know, the situation, it's, it's unsafe for them to go to the park for a while. Uh, so they have no place to go, or if they decided to go, uh, it's still a stressful causes, uh, situation because they may face the chance of getting infected uh, by the COVID-19. And the delayed response from school and city uh, public administration. Uh, for example, um, some uh, questions, if the uh, when the school open, the student can stop by the office and ask the question uh, for two minutes face to face, but now, you know, the email can be lost, go to spam, or, um, you know, the school administration just ignore a uh, student email at, um, in total at all. Managerial implication from this study, uh, so the first, the suggestion for, for Vietnamese embassy um, to be more proactive in legal, mental, physical support toward our students in New York City. Um, for example, more flights from New York City to Vietnam to rescue the student. Uh, secondly, the, the implication toward the school of the student, um, um, First, the school sh should provide more suitable and safe mental supports, um, uh, such as weekly check on calls, virtual group activities, um, immigration related support, free consultation on updated student law and status, and free legal services for international students. It's really important. Flexible class schedule, because some of the students reflected to me that uh, when they're in Vietnam, 
um, 2 a.m. in Vietnam is 2 p.m. here. It means when the class starts. So in order to attend uh, all of the live lecture uh, from American school, the students have to stay up late the whole night in Vietnam and go to sleep in the daytime. It messes up their um, sleep schedule, um, which is one of the causes that lead to stress and depress. Therefore, if the school and the faculty and the administration find a way to help the student or understand about the difference in time zone of where they are, um, we want to help the student a lot. Faculty, staff, and administration counseling. Um, I believe that the school should, you know, school staff should sit down and ask the student what's going on in their life. It's really important to have someone that to listen to. And sometimes maybe you know you can't help. We can't help the student with all of their questions or concerns, but having someone to listen to to talk to is going to help the student mental health a lot. Here's the picture of the subway. Uh, with the graffiti, question everything why. The reason why I chose the picture because as many of you know, uh, New York City, us, um, we very famous for the uh, subway um, system. So uh, yes, if you have any question, um, please, please ask uh, me in the chat box um, be below. And welcome to New York City after the COVID-19 pandemic.